Welcome to Light Shadows. This is a collective figure card for what is their karma. We have four piles today. This is pile one, pile two, pile three, and this is pile four. So go ahead and take a deep breath. Choose from the heart. Pause the video if you need to. I'm going to go by that for you one more time. Pile one. Pile two, pile three, and pile four. I would always say choose a pile where you can actually see your face behind it, like if you see your image behind it, or if you have a favorite number and you see that number behind that particular pile, then that is definitely the one that you need to choose. So you can go back and pause the video or rewatch all of the piles, but we're going to get started with pile number one. Hey, pile one, if you chose this pile, this is your reading. I wanted to tell you, I saw 9-11 at the beginning, so I definitely know this is divinely guided. This is the right time. Archangel Michael is protecting you. I do have the fact that you are going through some type of like a volcano eruption here, like energetically, like you can't take it anymore. You're just going to show people who you are. Their karma is they're going to be held back with their finances, with their emotional stability. This person will not be happy. I'm getting a family or a mother figure here is trying to hold you back from your success. It's like you have an idea, but there's someone here that's very upset. It could be this Empress Libra Taurus, very controlling, manipulative parents or family members is what I am getting. You have someone in the family causing disruption. You feel like it's your obligation to be around them. They hold you back. They don't want you to move forward with your happiness, your true calling here. With the Knight of Cups, you could be a strong empath, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you're coming into union with someone who makes you very happy here is what I'm seeing. This mother figure is jealous with the sword. It's like she's trying to hold you back. I also associate the sword with communication and Archangel Michael. Keep in mind, I read intuitively, so it's not going to be the exact description of the guidebook, just so you know that 111 as I'm saying that. Definitely using my intuition. They try to keep you stuck in love as well. You have a mother figure who's very jealous somehow, some way, very controlling in her mind. You need to stay here. You need to do what she says. You cannot move forward. You have to just like literally like answer to her. Very manipulative energy is what I'm kind of getting here, especially with this King of Wands. It's almost like you cannot go there. You cannot do that. But their karma is they're going to watch you be happy with the Knight of Cups. They're going to have they're going to have to see you walk away is what I'm hearing and come into union with your person. You are going through a globe. You're going to share your wisdom. This is part of your life purpose. No one can stop you and you are going to walk away from these people that are holding you back. This could be family, friendships. I really do get a family dynamic where you feel obligated to be so devoted or dedicated to your family that you put them before yourself because they make you feel like you have to listen to them. I'm getting that is not true. You're going to walk away. These people like to cause a lot of drama, but you're down here. Like you have your eye on the prize and you're really focusing on that thing that makes you happy with the cups. You're a strong empath, very connected to the moon. You have a lot of love and blessings coming your way. You're a healer of some sort, pal one, and you're meant to share your communication or wisdom. Share wisdom through communication is what I'm getting. It's like all of these people are have like a lot of just like nasty energy or very low vibrational sometimes but you have like protected your space here with the circle around this top part of the tree it's like you are protected you're elevated you're gonna have like some shocking um experience that's gonna be really positive it's like the phoenix rising type of energy with this card here with all the stars and like intensification it's like you've gone through a spiritual glow up you are just going to burst up into the sky like the phoenix rising. I keep seeing that. You're a strong star seed. You're a light being. You have a lot of energies protecting you. People are going to be shocked that you rise to stardom. It's like whatever you're doing, if you're out in the public eye, if you're communicating somehow, some way, whatever you're doing, you're not going to hide who you are anymore. It's like you're just going to be yourself. And that's just a very beautiful card. The stars might remind you of just having a lot of peace. But I do see a mother figure here very upset that you're finding love that you're communicating that you're finding your self-worth you're leaving offerings and you try to like make peace with these people 333 as i'm saying that but they all they do is try to cause disruption you don't like being around their energy 
because they're very stressful to you. It's like, it's so frustrating. And they're both very similar. There's, there's a couple here is what I'm getting. But it's like, you don't want to deal with that anymore. You just kind of want to be in your own space. And I feel like you are. You are putting up these boundaries here with the Ace of Swords. I feel like your spirit animal is definitely the Raven or the Crow. I'm using the Murder of Crows Tarot, if you're interested in tarot cards or this particular deck. But 404, you're finding your own stability within yourself. You might be seeing 888 or 444. I'm also seeing that talks about spiritual abundance and structure within your own. So it's like you're waiting on the right energy of love to come towards you. I feel like you've already met your person, pile one, or you are just really finding this energy of self-love. You're not going to put up with any type of negative low vibrational people anymore. You're minding your space. If people try to keep you stuck or hold you back, it's like you are stepping into this type of empress energy now. It's like they're no longer controlling you. As a matter of fact, you are controlling your destiny, your path, your life purpose. You are pursuing your goals because you're finding your passion to move forward. It's like you are no longer answering to anyone else's way of thinking. Um, there's a lot of threes and ones here with aces. You have the ace of wands right here, which talks about passionate, loving energy, um, establishing like your dominance is what I'm hearing because of the way it's D-O-M. It's like you're moving forward, you're finding your passion, you're letting go, significant changes. They might not be happy, but you don't care. I'm getting that song Control by Janet Jackson. It's like no one is going to control you anymore. You are the one in charge. And if they don't like it, oh well, because it's like they've lived their life and now it's time to live yours. And you're definitely stepping into this beautiful enlightenment of happiness. It's like you are claiming back your energy, solar plexus, and you're moving forward. Their karma is they're going to watch you be happy, either in a relationship or doing something that you truly love and enjoy. Knight of Cups and the Sun, it's like complete happiness, emotional fulfillment. 19 here. Um, you could be a teenager watching this or fairly young energy or they treat you like you're a young person. But in reality, you're a full grown ass adult, pile of one. And with the one and the nine, that equals a ten, which is completion. So it's no more holding back here with the four pentacles. No more waiting. Now is the time to just, you know, let the world see who you truly are and what you can do with intensification. You're being guided and you're really just stepping out and saying, this is who I am. This is what I'm doing. And yeah, I'm fully capable of completing this. I am responsible. I am an adult and I step into my power and that's beautiful energy power one. I don't really see too much like negative or like something toxic here. I mean, it could be unhealthy, but power one, your karma that they're going to get their karma is basically to watch you be happy and you are protected by so much light and peaceful energy. It's just very beautiful. You're healing your heart chakra. You're moving on and they might even come back and tell you that they were so sorry that they doubted you. I am seeing that for some. But that's what I have for you, Pile One. Please like and subscribe. Tap on that bell so you get all my updated videos. Comment down below if this resonates for you. Or maybe you chose a different pile. If you chose two piles, I would be interested in seeing that as well. What piles did you choose or what were you drawn to? But let me know if that resonates. And I send you many blessings. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Hey, Pile Two. If you chose this pile, what's their karma? This could be going on right now at the Watchtower of the North and Winter. You guys could be living in a very cold climate or it just could be very cold where you are at. You might feel like it's freezing or you just feel this way, pile two. What is their karma? They're going to watch you transform into a beautiful, successful person, guy, girl. You're an alchemist, but I'm also getting someone try to cause disruption in your success. This is a fake friend, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is Queen of Wands. Try to do some magic to hold you back from your abundance to cause disruption in your happiness and your union with your true love here with the Two of Cups and the Three of Swords. This is a jealous, hateful bitch. Excuse me, that's what I'm getting. An ex or someone who's a friend who's jealous wanted you. This could be same sex or this person is... Um, bisexual or lesbian take what resonates i have nothing against those type of um gender preferences it's simply the fact that this person wanted you take what resonates this could be your guy's ex your girl's ex your ex take what resonates but someone here a friend who liked you and you said no you turned them down and they got upset and they like very stubborn on wanting to have you like here she looks like she's squeezing her hand behind her back like she's like like this like like, you know, like really upset that you're happy and this person is heartbroken now because they're going to be left out in the cold. You're going to be with your person. If you're already with your person, not a problem. You're going to continue to be with that person. But this person, this third energy on the side, I don't feel like they're cheating. 
your person is not cheating i don't see that i feel like this is like someone like out here in the cold watching on the sidelines trying to cause some type of disruption in your happiness with your person and this person was your friend but it's a fake friend because behind the scenes they're doing all this like voodoo schmoodoo trying to cause some type of evil eye energy to cause disruption in your happiness because they're miserable i'm hearing they're miserable sad fox i'm so sorry whoever whatever i'm channeling they're like <laughs> the spirits are laughing like they're here your spirit guides are laughing because this person is going to get karma they're going to watch you be happy here they're going to want, yeah, two, two, two. They try to disrupt your balance. You could have been having difficulty with your money, your finances. You can be feeling really stressed out for no reason. You don't know why. But it's because this person was trying to cause a delay in your blessings. This person could be a witch as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming through very strongly with the cups and the wands. But I do feel like this person was not going to succeed. Their karma is to watch you be happy with your true love. If you're coming into union with your person you have love, or if you're already with your person, you will continue to be with them. So no one and nothing is going to stop this. Their karma is to watch you be happy with your person because they are not your person. They're a karmic and they're a jealous, hateful bitch is what I'm getting. This is a feminine energy is what I'm getting. This woman is literally a woman um, who might come off as very masculine. Um, I'm getting she might be lesbian for some, not all, or she's bisexual. But either way, this person is upset because you're happy and they see you as successful. They could also see you being in a partnership of uh, money or business and they don't like that and they're trying to block your throat chakra because they don't want you to work they don't want you to be successful they want to be the one that's like superstar is what i'm hearing but they're not because that's not their destiny they try to be you or take from you and it's not going to happen three 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 you have spiritual energies protecting you i'm hearing four 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 five 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 eleven eleven you're with your twin flame and this person tried to cause disruption it's not going to happen um, your person will be yours and three four five slow and steady wins the race three to five days something significant will happen in your favor or you will um see this person literally getting their karma for all the disruption that they try to cause that's what i have for you pile two i send you many blessings please like comment and subscribe tap on the bell so you get all my updated videos and let me know if this resonates for you i send you many blessings thanks for watching bye guys hey pile three this is your reading what is their karma you are protecting your space you have it called your ancestors is what i'm seeing here and there was someone who tried to cause disruption in a union with this um okay so someone did a binding spell on you they didn't want you to be happy they wanted you to be with them they tried to banish your person or they could try to banish you because they wanted your person to take what resonates with the nine of pentacles they want your person to be single or they want you to be single and alone but your ancestors have come through to protect you from whoever tried to hex you or banish you. This is very jealous energy. You have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So this could be a couple that hates you because they're not happy in their relationship. Or someone in a relationship is secretly in love with you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They tried to cause an imbalance in your life. Someone at a distance. I'm seeing, I'm seeing an earth sign here. Either this is you or them. And then I have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone tried to make you feel sick. They sent you a psychic attack with the Seven of Cups to make you feel confused. But judgment is called on this person, 111. With these two cards here, the devil will be left out in the cold. Whoever tried to hurt you, whoever tried to use you, they could have been using sex magic because the way this woman looks here, you might have been feeling very... um. Like, uh, what's it called? Very sexual, very intimate, out of nowhere. You don't know why. There's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Strong Capricorn energy. Um, either this is your sign or their sign. But judgment is being called on this negative energy that was trying to drain you energetically. This is an energy vampire. There's a couple here doing work on you because they want your blessings. They want your abundance. They want your love and light and happiness. It's not going to work. They are going to watch you actually have love. You're claiming back your energy. Um, I do see here, though, with... Um, it's a couple. It's a hateful couple. That's karmic. Watching from the sides, trying to screw up your relationship or trying to bind you to them to use you to their advantage because they want your money. They want your abundance. They know <clears throat> that you are gifted, that you are a very divine, feminine, masculine energy. This is feminine energy for sure. You're cleansing with the waters here. You're very gifted. You're very beautiful. You have an over flowing abundance available to you and this person wanted to 
do some type of hex or cell or ritual to bind you to them so that they can drain you somehow, some way. They definitely try to hex you here. They sent you the evil eye, a masculine. The masculine is what I'm getting, or someone with masculine energy is trying to drain you, make you feel stuck. Um, take from you. This person could be in a relationship, but they want you. So they're sending you psychic attacks because they wish that they were... They wish their person was you. So with their, when they're with their person, they think of you and that stresses you out energetically and you feel that because they're trying to drain you and they're trying to cause disruption so that you can think of them or want to come to them with the two pentacles. This person who wanted to have you plus their person. So it's like you would be the side chick. And they did come stalk you, psychic attacks towards you, but judgment was called because this was no more. This person was draining you, energy vampire here. Because they were using your light to their benefit here with the Nine of Pentacles. They wanted your abundance and they were thinking of you and they caused disruption. But now it's like your spirit animals, your angels, your ancestors came and attacked this person. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're going to be left with nothing. You're going to have love. Your energy is being returned to you. And you do have ancestors here. So your ancestors have stepped in with the judgment card. And if you feel you're hearing noises in your home... And it doesn't really scare you, but you're kind of like, why am I feeling this presence? I'm getting goosebumps everywhere. Your ancestors are here now. Call on them. Ring a bell is what I'm hearing. And ask them to protect you because they're here. They stepped in, whether you realized or not, because this person is a psychic. Um, oh, this person is a psychic also, and they were misusing their powers. And they're going to be left out in the cold. They're going to actually be asking, please give me my powers back. And the, the spirit, your, the most high, is like, why? And why would I give you your powers back? You missed you some. You did a binding spell on someone who's not yours. You try to control this person. It's been months. You don't change your ways. You know, you're well aware of it. You're not changing. You're at a distance, but you're still doing this. No. So this person is going to be stripped of their powers. If they're doing some type of... They are doing it. They did do a binding spell. This person's going to be left out in the cold now. Without a dollar, without a dime. I'm hearing if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. 444, four, four. this person likes hip-hop music, or you do. But either way, um, music is very healing. I'm getting so many goosebumps. Or your ancestors say play music for them. Play music, be happy, raise your vibrations, pile three. Um, the power of three has stepped in to protect you. Some of you guys do have goddess or feminine deities here that are helping you. I'm hearing Mother Gaia. You have a strong spiritual ancestor, the way this card's coming through, um, with ancestors, and she has risen from... The other side, she's crossed over. She's already here with you because she's stepping She's stepping in. I'm going to step on this devil. So this is a strong energy coming in to stop this crazy demonic energy attachment that was trying to hold you back from your success. This could have been going on for seven weeks, seven months, seven years. Take what resonates. This person did a binding spell for sure to hold you back from your success. But that is no more. It stops now is what I'm getting. This is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. This card really standing out. It's the masculine energy. Very much wanting to control you, but with judgment here, it's like your ancestors are coming up. The horn, the trumpet, you might be hearing alarms and sirens. It's like the time is now 555. Five, five. The changes are happening, and this imbalance is being restored. And this feminine energy that's very strong that I saw, that I picked up here with this ancestor card, she is here, and she's making sure that you are her baby. You are her love, and like she loves you. She might have called you my love is what I'm hearing. Or this person did. I don't know. I'm hearing my love. But either way, you're protected. Your blessings are yours. And this person who harmed you, boy, are they in for some serious karma. They're going to be left out in the cold. They're going to have to be begging for money. They could be literally homeless or they could just be suffering financially because they tried to drain you of your blessings. So that's what I have for you, Pile 3. I send you many blessings. Please like and subscribe. Tap on the notifications bell. Comment down below if this resonates for you. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. Hey, Pile 4, this is your reading. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been talking a lot, so my throat is a little bit dry. Um, that could be you, though. I didn't realize there was a face in this mirror. Um, that's interesting. And it's funny because I was setting up the camera, and it was completely, like, I laid it on a flat surface, so it should have been black. And I literally saw something move across the screen. So you have monitoring spirits, Pile 4. Um, what is their karma? They are... <laughs> Let's just get into the reading. First of all, you guys are very powerful. You're very strong. You're very gifted. It is a strong spiritual war. Um, I'm hearing love is a battlefield. Someone's doing candle magic to... They want to be you. They want to take from you. 
they are doing mirror magic for sure and you have Archangel Michael protection. You can be, have a strong fire placement in your needle chart or fire. The element of fire is very strong. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energies. But I do see that this person is marrying you, doing some type of work to stalk you, spy you, cover your mirror spile for, um, or bless them and cleanse them because this person is trying to watch you psychically spy on you. The Two of Swords, this person is blocked or conflicted. They will be at a distance from you. You are in this dolphin spirit animal. You could have a past life in Atlantis or the ocean. Mermaids could be very significant for you. The Six of Swords, I'm hearing death is coming to this person. I drew so many cards for you guys. Look at all these cards just for pile four. But I don't even know if I'm going to go through all of them. But I think I will because I show them to you. And I hate when readers are like, I don't know if I should. Um, no, that's okay. It's like, don't tell me that. Because then it makes me want to know, like, what the hell? Then why would you bring it up? So you guys get very impatient. Lots of fiery Mars energy for sure. Or you guys are very emotional right now, pile four. But whatever the karma is, we're going to get into it. Karma's coming. This person is blocked with the two of swords here, wildling and boundaries. It's like you have called on all of your spiritual army to block this person you're doing candle work you're doing reversals this person is trying to spy on you but they are being kept at a distance this person is blocked you have um your angels your guides your spiritual team protecting you with the two of swords and then the other ace of swords here which is my archangel Lyco card you are a gemini libra or an aquarius sign here and more six of swords here or this person is or both of you guys could be air signs because there's two swords battling it out is what i'm getting um, with the king of pentacles and death card someone could have tried to end your life um, but they didn't realize that you are a light worker you're a healer you have a whole spiritual army protecting you then you have the eight of wands this person wants to speak to you communicate to you or they send to you a death spell for some for others of you they wish they could take you back or that you would want to take them back this is an unhealthy, toxic relationship somehow, some way. This person has an unhealthy um, connection to you or they are so obsessed it has become unhealthy. With the sun card, this could be a Leo that wants to speak to you that's at a distance. Two of swords again. Wow, I didn't even realize that. You have the two of swords here and then the two of swords there. This person is blocked in every way, shape and form. 313, your angels, your ancestors, your guides. 13 with death card here is making sure you could literally have holy death making sure that this person is kept at a distance and blocked from you because they did work to kill you to harm you to end your life with the world card it's like they want to stop your success 333 angel number coming through a lot in all of the readings today um you're connected mind body and spirit with your higher self with your spiritual team with the king of swords this could be a gemini or someone who's very cold-hearted who spoke very much against you i'm also getting your finding your strength to connect to your higher self with the high priestess this person did a death ritual on a queen on a high priestess on royalty on the chosen one it's like what the hell were you thinking all you did was send out a request to kill the chosen one and now you are going to be in your grave, in your coffin. You sent a death spell to a chosen one for love and he didn't know and now you have regrets and what the hell am I going to do? Like another 5 and 5, 10. There's an ending to this person. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through so strongly. So many swords coming through here. This person is having regrets. They're like, wait, no, what? No, don't stop. Like they're, they are asking for forgiveness now because of all the spell work that they did. Aquarius energy karma is here like this person did a huge big mistake they acted on impulse 444 and now they will be put to rest that's very specific if this reading is too much for you choose another pile if you don't like it don't listen this is collective and the energy that i'm picking up is for someone who did a very very bad bad ritual death spell graveyard dirt they did something they wanted to send an attack on you to hurt you you could be having pain in your lower body you could be having back pain you're feeling all kinds of ways whoever picked this pile because this person tried to keep you stuck they wanted you bedridden but they're gonna get bedridden why because you have the most high here the strong spiritual energy that is protecting you this person could have tried to do um, some type of voodoo keep you binded had a voodoo doll on you they did it in secret they could have 
pretended the doll was you, did really bad things to it, and tried to make sure that whatever happened to that doll was happening to you, they're in for a rude awakening. Because guess what? I feel like this is the angel of death saying, like, cheers, mother trucker. You you did it to the wrong person. Bye, five, five. I'm coming for you. I hear, like, the spirit of death is upon them. Yeah, look at the chariot. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm feeling, like, literally, like, death. A hearse is coming at night. This person could be hearing horse. Um, the hooves of a horse. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Like, when a horse walks, like, galloping, like the... Like that type of energy, you know? Because of the Seven of Swords, they're coming to collect because they chose to put a hit on a collective chosen one. Whatever this person did, they're a rat. They're in this raccoon energy. Your spiritual team, this is magic, right? Whatever they did, whatever negative energy they sent out, it's like the universe divine intervention. They said, wait a minute, stop. I'm seeing like the skies open up like thunder like it's cracking in the middle of the sky and it's dividing open and the spiritual realm has come through your spiritual team is coming and stepping in and taking this person out they're having a hollow victory they're all of the three fives were here we had the five of pentacles five of cups and the five of swords so five 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 significant changes this person is going to have it's only a matter of time you are guarded you are protected 707 your spiritual gifts are protected pile four and with the Knight of Swords, yeah, you have strong protection from Archangel Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, Uriel, Ariel, Metatron. All of your Archangels, the seven Archangels of Protection, are here. They protect your home in every corner. You have a spiritual army. You have a past loved one who's a grandfather, a great, great, great grandfather. You don't even know all of your ancestors, but there's so much lineage protecting you from this demonic person or this person who sent a demonic energy. They try to control you. They try to take you from you. You are this beautiful Empress, Libra, Taurus. You've been praying to the angels here. Feminine energy. You're in this energy of femininity where you're in your feelings. And with Ace of Pentacles, it's like you have a lot of abundance. You're down here praying. Then you got someone up here spying on you. So you're definitely being spied on. Pile four. With the Two of Cups, you, you're connecting to... You're an herbal witch or kitchen witch, or you work, even if you work um, by yourself, you have, with regards to your spirituality, you connect with um, flowers or herbs. Drink tea, work with the plants, work with Mother Nature. And with the Six of Swords, this person is now asking for forgiveness to the Most High. This is almost like the Angel of Death, Archangel Azrael, or literally death itself. And this person is like, wait, no, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Like, wait, like, let me, let me make it up to you. You know, this King of Wands acted on impulse they did something very quick without realizing they didn't do their homework they didn't know who you were or they thought that they could trick you or fool you and now they've caused an imbalance in the ethers because they tried to call and control your mind this person called on an entity spirit to control your mind to keep you stuck <clears throat> to hold you back and with the hermit card they did it in secret they thought no one was going to find out it's like you cannot hide from spiritual world like what are you doing are you stupid like come on and then with the ten of swords this person is going to die they tried to hurt you i'm getting that very specific for someone they're gonna be really sick or they're practically on their deadbed 9 11 again archangel michael is protecting you this person is going to be bound to death is what i'm hearing um with the three of wands they worked in secret with someone else they made a pact see that those hands they made a pact with the devil or some type of energy they called on something negative they made a deal with it someone knew they have a friend or a mother or a girlfriend or someone who's a close person who's female who saw them do this and they were like oh my god are you sure you want to do this they watched but they didn't do the pact see how her hands are held to her waist but he's reaching out so this person might have a girlfriend or they might have a close friend someone watched someone knew someone was witness but they made a bad deal and now they're gonna die and you have your ancestors here with the ten of cups making sure that you're protected you have so many ancestors from different generations, lineage, of family history protecting you in every way, shape, and form, making sure that you are safe with the Eight of Cups, making sure that this person stays away. You have a strong spiritual ancestor of a mother or an aunt or grandmother. There's a feminine energy here. This is a woman, is how I'm seeing, and she's coming on her beautiful horse, and she's very much beautiful, graceful. She's very loving and kind, and she is like the one of the stronger ones of your spiritual um, family, past loved ones, ancestors from so many years and years back. And this person, um, generations back, excuse me, not years, 
she's coming to make sure that this person stays away from you with eight of cups it's like i'm gonna make sure that you are safe you're healing you're protected with this ace of swords it's like they're here to make sure that you are going to be safe nothing's going to happen because with the two of swords this person is blocked they've done way too much they've done way too much they've spied on you they've sent you dark energy they, they've done so much to you pile four you've been through it and i'm so sorry but you're a strong spiritual warrior and know that you are safe you are protected death is coming for this person 11 11 be careful what you wish for pile four your words are powerful you could have spoken something out into the ethers so you could have said i hope this person gets what they deserve and if you want them to die then so be it you would have you could have said that and spirit was like you know what that makes sense actually yeah they do deserve it so let's let's take this person out they've done too much it's time for them to um finish their cycle their purpose on this on this earthly realm and they are going to be put to rest four days four weeks take what resonates um it's collective but you continue to heal you use candle work as well. I'm hearing candy apples for this. Um, I'm hearing candy rain. I don't know why you guys ni like 90s music for some of you. Um, or 80s music. No, I think it's 90s. Um, I'm hearing the song from Journey. I don't know. You guys might like this the music from the 80s Journey. Listen to music. Pile 4. Music is very healing. Cleanse your chakras with the ocean, with the water, with... Um, the candles choose the candle of like chakra clearing clear your chakras because all the colors are here so um i'm hearing pocahontas you paint with all the colors of the wind you might be very connected to native americans or you have ancestors who were native americans one two three four they love you very much they are here the offerings that you give them the food the blessings that you send their way some of you guys might even send reiki to your ancestors and they thank you for that they're very happy that you do that they love you very much and that's why they're here to protect you so you have a lot of strong protection energies pile four they can't mess with you you're chosen when your life purpose is to do your work here spiritually and no one's going to be able to stop you you're a strong spiritual warrior in your own element you are stronger than these negative low vibrational energies and it's not because you as a person are strong it's because your spiritual army your spiritual team is what is on your side protecting you so that's what i have for you pile four I send you many blessings. Please like and subscribe. Tap on the notifications bell so you get all of your updated videos from me. And comment down below if this resonates. I send you many blessings. And if no one's told you, I'm proud of you for getting through this because you are strong. You are protected. And you are safe. And that's what I send for you. Many blessings to you. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys.